Let's do this. Uh, my name is Jay Zhao. I'm a director of Delos Labs and a member of Wowling Lab. Um, today I'm going to talk about what do we know about acoustic comfort. So what is acoustic comfort? It's not about music. Acoustic comfort can have different meanings in different built environments. What we talk about here is only targeting offices, not in homes. In homes, I guess we want privacy, we want to be quiet, uh, maybe some nature sound, water or sea, or, but this is office. Uh, in office, we typically talk about two things. One, reduce noise, not noisy, not from HVAC, HVAC, heating, cooling, ventilation systems, and not from other people's talking. Uh, it, could, it should be a quiet space for people to be concentrated on work. But that's not enough. You also need privacy. Coworkers talking about things uh, can be private, can be confidential to their own group. You want privacy. So that's the two aspect of acoustic comfort in offices. Um, before we jump in, we just want to talk about the basic um, ideas of uh, the metrics to measure sound, right? dB, that's the basic sound level. Decibels, dB, that's the measurement of the loudness, uh, the magnitude of uh, acoustics, of sound. But we typically use dBA. It means A weighted. Um, decibels. What does it mean? It means our human ears has different sensitivity to different frequency of sound. Meaning we cannot hear ultrasound. We cannot hear very low frequency sound. We, we have a range. And a weighted decibel curve means these uh, numbers are weighted by typical hu human ears. Dogs will have a different uh, I don't know, B, D, C, you know, uh, different types of weighting. But every time we say dBA, it means it's weighted to human ears. Um, it's pretty small, but uh, these are typical dBA levels for different events. For example, uh, if you hear, you know, leaves um, by wind, that's 20 decibels, that's 20 dB. And if you hear, um, Airplane, that's about 90. Train, that's 100, and something like that, right? Uh, that's the basic, give you a basic sense of uh, decibel levels and how to correlate to your daily life. So how to quantify acoustic comfort? The sound level is just one dimension of the acoustic. Uh, you know it's loud. You don't really want to be in a loudy, uh, very loud space. That's for sure, no one wants to do that. But there are other ways to quantify uh, the indoor environment, how, whether it's a good acoustic environment or not. Uh, first one is reverberation time. Basically, it describes the length of time taken the sound decay from the original level to um, a decay 60 dB. Uh, whatever the original is, that minus 60. What's the time spent to do that? Um, 0.5 second is typically recommended for open office by building standards, code standards. Um, do you think typically the smaller the number is, it means the acoustic comfort is better, right? Reverberation time, if it's smaller, it means it takes less time to decay the sound by 60 uh, decibels. It means a lot of sound can be absorbed either by carpet or by ceiling or by walls. So you will have a better privacy. If you have a longer time, sound will will uh, will you know transfer or will uh, travel longer then more people will hear what you said if you have a shorter time it will decay faster that's reverberation time typically you use a bloom and you 
you know, take out the blue one, boom, then you use the meter to, to measure the time. The second one is noise criteria. Basically, it's a set of uh, uh, curves that's uh, over different frequency, and you measure different frequent of the song and see where your room curve falls in. Um, if you say it's NC means noise criteria, if the NC15 is here, it means all your measurements are falling this space in different frequencies. If it's NC55, it's, it has to be all below this line. So if it's above, even one out of uh, five or seven frequency is above one line, it will have to go up to one level. So typically, 35 to 40 uh, NC is recommended for open office. There are more advanced or more complicated uh, criteria to evaluating acoustic comfort. Um, articulation index, AI, it's not artificial intelligence. <laughs> uh, articulation index, um, put it simple, this is how to measure that. It's very, very hard to really measure it, but there are uh, uh, you know, scientific mathematical equations to calculate. It is defined as if you say a hundred word, how many words you can hear clearly from that a hundred words. If, if you can hear 90 out of a hundred words very clearly, the AI, the articulation index is 90 or 0.9. Um, it's, it's a measure of speech intelligibility. It can cause, it can cause by different things. It, it could be um, you have some hearing loss. It could be the problem of, of yourself, or it can be the environment is really noisy, right? It could be the source, it could be the media. Um, built on top of this, it's a privacy index. It's kind of tricky. It's the reverse of articulation index. If you can hear more clearly, it means you have less privacy, right? Uh, you want this to be higher, so people, other people cannot hear you, but only someone you want to talk to to hear you. So it's the reverse of that. And we are, uh, and these four different metrics, reverberation time, typically is 60, RT60, NC room, uh, no, NC noise criteria, articulation index and privacy index. Those four um, metrics are typically used to quantify a built environment's acoustic comfort level. Um, again, these apply only to open office, sometimes classrooms, auditoriums, but not to your home. You want to be as quiet as possible in your home, I guess. So I think this is it. Yeah, that's it. All right, thank you. Thanks. <laughs>